road angle to try and get a half off, Nico. Yeah. Us being a new team, we have a lot of catching up to do. And a major part of that is, is looking at data from, from the other boats. Middle here, just on the tip of shark. Yep. So ideal race for you would be start, ferry, get to land. Everything we're doing out there is measured and, and collected and, and saved. So when we come back from sailing, we can bring out all the sailing we've been doing, look at all the data points from the day and then just try to learn from, from that. So the data that we're collecting off the yachts is what we refer to as, as time series data. It might be quantifying things like pressures in the hydraulic system or lengths of um, actuators in the system and that's all matched up against a timestamp. This is a dashboard that we have of what's going on in the water at the moment. It's quite unique I think in the fact that all of the teams have access to each other's data so they're able to see what the other teams are doing in terms of the setup on the boat, um, how they're going and, and really get a lot of insight into their competitors. Best way to go about it is to share these things and at least open the channel so people can go in and steal from other teams and you have tight racing and, and sort of a more even playing field a lot quicker. You can see a few of the trackers here where they're going. We've also got a whole array of other bits of information from boat speed to wind data. We can see exactly which valves in the hydraulic system are open at any time. Yeah, we're spending a lot of time digging into, you know, some of the fast teams last year and see what we're doing in these days in these conditions. And I think if, if, if teams are looking at our data, you know, this season or next season, then we're doing something well. So that's, that's obviously pretty much a dream. Yeah, if, if other teams are starting copying you, you you're doing well.